our infirmities. Himself took our infirmities. I think 17 or so. Himself took our infirmities. The presence that these might be fulfilled. Give me quickly. He said himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness. So his presence commands health and vitality. You become healthy. You have vitality. You have strength. You have energy. And he gives you that energy so that you can run through a troop. Are you hearing me? Speed becomes easy when you are healthy. No sick man has ever run a race. So health is important this year. And his presence command health. In Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 1. Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord revealed? Then give me verse 2 to 4, uh, to 5. For he shall grow up. Give me verse, verse, verse 3. Verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. And hide as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteem him not. Then verse 4, 4. Give me verse 4. Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows. And yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Then verse 5. Give me quickly verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement was our feet. Of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. His presence guarantees healing. His presence guarantees healing. Gives you vitality. Number three. His presence Gives you access to open gates and doors. His presence gives you access to open gates and doors. So this year, once you can engage his presence, your doors are open, your gates are open. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. The gates will be open to you. He said, lift up, ye, o, uh, lift up your heads, O ye gate, and ye everlasting doors be lifted up. His presence guarantees the liftings of gates. His presence guarantees the liftings of doors. Are you hearing me? If a door is shut against you, how can you run? How can you experience speed? If a door is shut against you, how far can you go this year? But when the gates are open, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 45 from verse 2, Isaiah 45 from verse 2. Give me that scripture. But the Bible says, I will go before thee and make crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut down asunder the bars of iron. His presence make crooked pass straight. So when you are running, there is no hold up. When you are running, there is no pothole. When you are running, there is no resistance. When you are running, nothing stops you. So you need his presence. To go before you. You need his presence. To go before you. The Bible says his voice cut down the cedars of Lebanon. Clear forest for you. So that you can move freely. Verse 3 of that scripture. Let me see verse 3 of Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah 45 verse 3. He said, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness. And hidden riches. Is it not when the gates are open that you will assess the hidden riches? So this year, you need speed. And the speed cannot come without his presence. And his presence will guarantee an open door, open gate. Anywhere you enter, they are just celebrating you. You don't know what happened. You are carrying his presence. That's why they are opening doors for you. And they are saying, ah, you are welcome. They are just, ah, you, the attention is too much. I don't know whether you will hear me. The attention is too much. Anywhere you enter, they are giving you attention. And you are asking, what did I do? The gates are open. Nothing is against you anymore. Nothing is standing with, against you anymore. Nothing is resisting you anymore. The gates are open. Are you hearing me? Then number four. I have two minutes to end this message. Number four. Number four. His presence 
gives you access for grace. For accomplishment. It gives you access to grace for accomplishment. There are anointing that you will not assess. But when the presence of God is engaged in your life, you assess certain anointing. And the anointing becomes grace for accomplishment. It was the presence of God that came upon David that the anointing located David in the book of Psalm chapter 89, verse 20. He said, I found David, my servant, with my holy oil. And that oil came upon David and grace was released on David. So I found David, my servant, my holy oil. Have I anointed him? Give, him? give me the next verse. Give me the next verse. Look at how he got supernatural spirit. With whom my hand shall be established and my arm also shall strengthen. He got strength to run. He got strength to run through a troop. He got strength to overtake. He got strength to recover. Why? Because of grace that was poured on him. His presence linked you to an unusual grace for accomplishment. Unusual grace. Anywhere you enter, it is working. Why? Because of presence. The commanding of his presence is what leaves you with grace. I see grace released in your life this year. If you shout amen, take it in the name of Jesus. Grace for accomplishment. By, by, by strength shall no man prevail. It is not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of him that showeth mercy. You need grace for accomplishment this year. And only presence can command grace. Presence. There are certain anointings you can assess. But when presence comes, the anointing is released to you. Who It was presence that located David for the oil. It was presence that located Saul for the oil. Presence can give it to whom deserve it and who doesn't deserve it. Presence. If you are a commander of presence, grace will be released to you. Grace for to accomplish so many things. You'll be asking yourself, how did I come? How did I become this? What did I put in to arrive at this point? You know that only grace spoke. That's why anytime we come to church, I try to see if we can steer up the presence of God. If we can call down the grace of God. The grace come to accomplish healing, to accomplish deliverance, to accomplish so many things. That's why many at times we don't need to pray. So many things are done in the realm of the spirit. Why? Because grace is made available. Are you hearing me? You see, there are certain times the angel come and steer the waters. And anyone that jumps inside, they get healed. He said, okay, rise up, take up your bed. I am here. I am the one sending the angel. I have decided to come myself. So the grace is in the house. Oh, you, need, you don't need to jump into the water. Just carry your bed and go. Uh-uh. He said, no, it is certain time when the angel stare water. He said, I am here now. Now me, they sell angel when they stare water. And me, I have decided to come by myself. They need to stare presence. But me, the presence is here. And the grace is available. So carry your bed and walk. And the guy said, because you said it, okay, let me carry my bed. He said, we have toiled all night and we caught nothing. He said, okay, don't cast the net. He said, ah, okay, let me do it at thy word. Because every knowledge was suspended at that time. It's no longer working. The presence of him made them to have the grace to cash. That they had to beckon on their friends and neighbors. Grace gives you, you know, presence gives you grace for accomplishment. There are things that you... Is it not you that they say the voice, uh, something is wrong with the voice, you know, something. But when grace come, presence come, grace come, you know, sing the sing. You sing them. If the, the voice go to hell. The devil attacked the voice of uh, uh, McClunkin. They did him uh, 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 surgery. And they said, the doctor warned him not to sing again. How? If I don't sing, what will I be doing? I had a surgery and they said, uh, you have to slow down. You don't need to work hard. You need to slow down. You know, cut the services and don't. Well, see me standing. If I don't do it, how, what will I be doing? That devil is a bastard. 120 years is guaranteed. Who 
be doing his work and will have grace to live long. He said, as the days of the trees are, sorry, as the days, as our days are, he says, so shall our strength be. We know they reduce in strength, we increase in strength. The Bible says at 120, Moses' eyes were not dim. He said, neither did his strength fail. Ah, 120. 40 years they were in the wilderness. Daddy, they never changed their cloth. They never changed their shoe. And they were still in the same size. What? Why? Because he went with them in the pillar of cloud by day and in the pillar of fire by night. So, presence. Presence gave them grace. Do you know when they started the journey, there was no hunger? They were not hungry because they were not eating anything. It was out of desire. They started missing cucumber. It's not like they were eating his garlic and cucumber food. It's not like they were hungry. No. They went through a journey for a year without food and they did not know they've not eaten. And they, see, God wrapped them in eternity and kept them in the earth. He wrapped them in eternity and kept them in mortality. They were immortality, but they were immortals. They were not eating, they were not drinking. And they were not hungry, they were not thirsty. There was no day they said they were thirsty. It was desire that brought manna. They just fell and just said, come, I miss cucumber. This one whispered to this one, I miss cucumber. This one said, I miss garlic. This one said, I miss onions. You see, they didn't measure food. Because cucumber and garlic and it's no food. So they were not hungry. These are passive meals. Say, ah, I miss cucumber or the way they used to do cucumber. And this one said, I miss garlic. Oh. This one said, ah, I miss onions. He said, okay, since you are complaining, <sighs> east wind. The Bible says his presence commanded the east wind. And the east wind delivered unto them manna. When they ate the thing, they say, what is this? They call it manna. What is this? So as they were eating manna, eating manna, eating manna, then suddenly they say, "Come on, this one no meat. It's not like even in the manna, meat was fed them without knowing." He said, ah, "Meat." He said, "Okay, ukuku. Where are you? Blow." And they blow quails, and quails landed, and they ate. They ate roasted quail is the most sweetest bed. Ro see, roasted and seasoned without stove. I'm not sure you heard me. No stove. No oven. Everything was inside, garnished and delivered to them. The the, the wind that came, know everybody's address. And know everybody's capacity of eating. So deliver it. Ah, holiness. Take your, you know, holiness. I trust you. No, swallow, now they put that. <laughs> they don't bring rice for you. Swallow, now they bring. <laughs> Leave my son. Leave my son. If you are marrying my son, prepare. Know how to cook. Swallow. Swallow. <laughs> if you don't give holiness, swallow. You are not giving holiness food. <laughs> Ah, holiness cannot go a day without swallow. Ah, it's taboo now. Nah. Rice is not food. Ah, I'll say your name. Hey, you can eat it three times. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say. You see how so? So the 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 angel that deliver know what to deliver to holiness. Yeah, you know, they put jello rice on. Uh, Choir platform. Oh, he said, my favorite food. So they will deliver the love rice for him. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Anything you desire, it was delivered. Oh, what a God we serve. And the Bible called him the same yesterday, today, and forever. Number five, where I stop, is the presence give you access to functional, to function. As a supernatural being. 
It gives you the access to function as a supernatural being. It gives you access to function as a supernatural being. You are not an ordinary person. You can't die an ordinary life. Nobody can waste you because you are not ordinary. Did you believe that? The, the person that says you will die has not been born. You are not an ordinary person now. He said in John chapter 3 verse 3. He didn't you read that please. John 3 3. Let me show you. John 3 3 please. John 3 3 then John 3 6. Tunda pakandula hata. Efendola. Jesus answered, very, very soon, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Then verse 6. Verse 6. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Then go further. Go further. Hey, aha. Come, is it verse 8 now? It's verse 8. Give me verse 8 quickly. Verse 8. He said, the wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell when she's coming. They will hear your sound, but they won't know when you come. I'm not sure you heard me. They will hear your sound. They can't deny that you came, but they can't catch you. <sighs> Witchcraft. They cannot deny that you are in that compound, but they can't catch you. You are a wind. He said, the wind blew it. For you know it, know where it goeth, know where it listed. It's just blowing. If they told you are in Abekuta, you have arrived so Sokoto. Nobody will trap you this year. Yeah. You are a supernatural being. Nobody will keep you down this year. Yeah. Anyone that want to hold you down, wind, please catch wind. Try to catch wind, please. Are you catching? Catch some wind for me. Witchcraft cannot catch you this year. If you believe it, shall they men like thunder? Witches cannot catch you this year. No evil will catch you this year. You are a wind. Invisible wind. You are a supernatural being. You are not an ordinary being. If they discuss you, you will appear and slap them and walk away. You will just appear and slap them and walk away. Somebody will be sleeping. The winch in your compound will be shouting, fire out. Fire out. Then they burn me. Oh. Then they burn me. Oh. Who they burn them? You don't burn them now. You can't catch fire and fire don't burn you. You want to talk, teach a child a lesson. Light can do. He's going towards the can do. Leave him. If you beat him, he will go back. The greatest teacher is experience. When you experience, you will testify. If you don't experience, you won't have testimony. So allow them to come close. When the fire burn them, they will be the one to tell others. Don't go near. Don't go. Stand to your feet, let's close. Don't go near. Don't go near. Don't go near. That place is a non-fly zone. Don't go near. Don't go near. No go near. <laughs> all the all the all the all the all the evil men in your village will have a council meeting on your behalf. They say, no, I try up. My face born. The other one say, I try up. My head burn. The other one will say, I try her. My leg break. The other one will say, I try her. You don't see the way my waist be. As I go, they hit me stick. Then they will not advise each other. Don't go. Don't go. Oh. Your uncle could never tell you. I said, I they go to that church. I say, yes. When you travel. When I travel, he say, is it they go to that church? I say, yes. I say, okay, keep quiet. So, you know what? He never told me what in the In the ass, you see, they go to that church. Aya! Fire! Amaya tende kete liandosa. This year, our eyes will be red. Like the redness of the wine. I think that is the description of Asa. No, no, no. Judah. 
His eyes like the mixed wine, red, carrying fire. Because of the prophecy that is on Judah, God has to give him the reddishness of the eye and the mandate of the lion. He carried the mandate of the lion and the reddishness of the eye. Why? Because of the mandate that is, the scepter shall not depart from him. So for the scepter to be kept, you need the reddishness of the eye. There are prophecy you carry. If your eyes are not red, it cannot be sustained. Oh, just look at me now. That one week, I didn't pray. What will I be doing? They will throw party at the other side. One week, I didn't pray. They will throw party. Say, so, he has disturbed us enough. Let's gang together. So the reddishness of the eye, you have to keep putting wood for the burning so that fire can keep flaming in your eye. Why? Because of your mandate. How can you survive one week here that you didn't pray? After you have tampered with tampers. You are looking for trouble. If you survive it, you may come out with a pastor. Pray for me. I don't know what happened. No. What happened was that you did not pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the presence of God for grace in my life in the name of Jesus. I would have said we should pray, but we've crossed time. So take up your altar.